Hi, we are Matilda and Paymon. As you can see, Atlas Mountains is ending there and Sahara will start. And we wanted to travel the world, so we moved into our car to save some money and build ourselves bicycles that would take us as far as we could cycle. We started our world tour two years ago in Finland. And since then we have cycled in snow, rain and sandstorm. Made many friends and met some old ones. <laughs> you have the f***ing same clothes, Steve. Yeah. I can't believe that. We picked some food like mushrooms, cherries, dates, garbage, a roadkill deer. It's better to be eaten and we are f***ing hungry really, I tell you. We have climbed up many mountains and rolled down all the hills and well, we have been pushing the bikes as well. In Africa, we saw the beautiful countryside in Morocco. We cycled across Sahara and we arrived in Senegal. Do you smell the grass? It's amazing, yeah. Where we rescued a kitten. And in the Gambia, where we had to stay in the capital region to receive some parcels. And when they finally arrived and we were ready to leave. Monday, we tried to leave Gambia and start to go towards Senegal and Bissau. The pandemic hit and countries all around the world had to close their borders. We feel pretty lucky we got stuck here in Gambia, in a place that is already familiar and we got many friends. This is a reason we need the strongest frame possible. Charcoal lasts on a hobo stove for a long time, so and we can add a little bit of wood and it's a fantastic combination for cooked food. Really like it. Let's go. After some searching, we found a place where we could stay until the borders would open again. So, we are moving to the new place. The new room is a 30 years old room and needs some renovation so we can put our tent inside. Let's go. But we couldn't move in just yet. This is not the best sign, <laughs> isn't it? Hole. We need to fill that one. Yeah, we can't obviously put anything on the ground. We need to get some shelf and clean and clean this ground and put something on the ground so dust doesn't come up. Here is the apparently toilet and shower. Mm. And I don't mind these ones, they can leave here. What do you think? Because they catch all the mosquitoes. But did you see the size of that spider? How was that? Good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, that's that's he's dead. I think. I don't think so. We got fucking tons of mice and rats around here. Should I mean? Holy crap! This is a fresh rat poop. Yeah, well, we have some job to get done. We can clean the rat poop. Boy, it's a big, big rat, I tell you. Uh, well, obviously, we need to bring the trap. Yeah, we catch these guys, otherwise it would be impossible. We have to buy some supplies to get this place livable. Cleaning supplies and some other stuff. So, do you want to explain what you're carrying? Yeah, this is a rat trap. I didn't bring it from Finland to Africa, I promise you. It wasn't in our pannier. We have to catch some rat tonight. All right, they're like coconuts, so we're gonna put some coconuts on the bait. I actually have to say, it's a pretty well-made trap. Okay, nice. We can't have bush rats and mice running around our food and gear, so we needed to trap them. Preferably before we moved in. So, the toilet is leaking. Need to fix the toilet first. Right. 
So the next place is the walls. As you can see, all of these. So let's get into it. <laughs> it's really important the room to be clean properly because of our breathing and our lungs, also because of our computer. When we edit, when we work with the computer, all this dust goes inside of computer and then computer will die very soon. So it's a time to paint that room and this is some kind of water-based color. They make it out of the seashell. Very good. Our friend Mar helped us mix the paint. Mm -hmm. Alright. So lay it to be, yeah? Yeah. For how long? 15 minutes. Okay, nice. Yeah. Then that's it. That's yeah. ready. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it boils. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Hmm. Cool, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Now you put salt so the color doesn't come off. Yeah. And how much you put salt in it? See? Okay. If I want, I can use all. Okay, yeah. You see? No. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's try. <clears throat> After 20 minutes or 30 minutes, it will dry. You can yeah. see the color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this needs more, I think. <laughs> Love more. <laughs> Love more. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. It is coming now. We are trying to make an orange color, but it doesn't seem that easy. We put some kind of orange, but it was pink and reddish. Now we add some yellow in it. Let's see. the ladder to paint the top. Life is good! I have a boring job, I tell you now. I think we're going to have a chance to practice many different skills during this trip. Definitely renovating a room is not the last one. Since it seems like we are going to stay in Gambia for a while because of the coronavirus, we are going to get some bamboo to furnish our room. Yeah, so we are going to French embassy. We're going to knock the door and ask them if we have a permission to cut some bamboo. Those are the bamboos. Unfortunately, the ambassador wasn't really willing to give away bamboo, so we need to find it somewhere else. But now we go and pick up some furniture anyway. The shop owners of one of the supermarkets we frequent, they promised to borrow us a table and maybe a couch. So we will go and pick those up now. Good little shopping trolley. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Not that much, man. Okay. So we go for shopping now. Hello, buddy. You good? No, I'm good. So I remove the table? Yeah. Alright, so we get table and he said he might have some chair for us. Let me see. And suddenly on the way home, it was right in front of us. Bamboo. We needed to ask if we can cut some. Hello. Uh, let's see which one we take. It's really an art to find the straight bamboo, I tell you. We need to find the one which leans that way. 
not this way because there's this shade here. You don't think if we push it, it's enough? No, it's too tall. We don't have enough average leverage to push it. This is quite a thick one, could be a good one. This is very straight and really, really nice. So we need to give some haircut to this. It's amazing, bamboo is so useful, so, so useful. It's very strong also, super strong. We come back to take the rest of the bamboo. As you can see, our bonzu have been growing up and he never le lets us to be alone. He always follows us wherever we go. Bonzu is over there wondering what's happening. <laughs> now we are getting ready to move out from here and go to the new place which we've been fixing. So, exciting really. Everything goes on the bicycles of course and the tent is the last thing we're gonna to take off. We might actually start to grow some veggies because yeah, you don't know how long we are here for. <laughs> Bicycle touring ending in a farming. So <laughs> that's really interesting. So we packed everything on our bikes again, but unfortunately this time we weren't going back on the road. We still didn't know when the spread of the virus would slow down and the borders would open and we would be able to cycle again. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's legendary, isn't it? Our shower and the shoes. <laughs> Our friend who has a restaurant nearby heard that we were looking for furniture, so she borrowed us a shelf and a table and chairs. Now our room actually starts to feel really cozy. We needed a new rat trap and Mo is nice enough to build us one. Oh, how's it going buddy? Yeah, I'm fine. Going good? Yeah, it's <laughs> good, yeah. I can make it work, no problem. Thank you so much. Now we need the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah, and now it's very sensitive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good actually, very sensitive. It's soft. Thank you so much, bro. Thank really, really yeah, thank you. Thing. This is fantastic. Thread and a needle is always good to have with you. So now we're going to put this one on the top. So we will have a shade in front of the room. Cool. As soon as we got the bamboo here, it was impossible for me to stop myself from making this gym. It's been so much fun. It's amazing with a piece of rope and a bamboo how much you can do. This is what happens when you have a cat. I'm going to take it under the tree, all right? I love you, but you, you can't eat rat here, you know? That's not happening. No. 
Jesus! This is the most important thing for me to do every day morning. Fill up these ones. And now, water is finishing. That's it. Done. We just have a few hours water in the morning. So we need to collect the, all the water we need during the day in the morning. But obviously, today I was late. <laughs> because we only have water in the mornings, we fill up this bucket, so we have water during the day for showers and stuff. And we collect this hand washing water in a bucket, so we can use that to flush the toilet. It's around 3 a.m. Me, Bonzu, and Matilda, we are catching mice. It's there. Ah, oh, thanks. Yes, charging. <laughs> we need to find a way to lock this door. I put this one here, and our bicycle lock, and a piece of bamboo. I need to anchor it so it doesn't slide through all the way. <laughs> Let's see if this bamboo will help. Yes. Well, it's not the most secure lock to have, but it's just something to have anyway. Number lock is so good, you never lose the key, except if you lose your head, of course. But that's it. Problem solved. Now we're going to get an extension for our visa, because the borders are closed, I think, for at least 45 more days, and our visa expires tomorrow. We call this a Corona Crisis Visa Extension. And we need a quite a bit of months, I don't know how many months, but quite apparently a few months till borders they get open I need to go and put him on the wall because otherwise he will run after us because he also lives in a guest house over there so he can go there hopefully but he jumps down and now we need to run before he finds his way down <laughs> this place is a touristic place in this town and it used to be packed but now it's like a ghost town all the restaurants are closed and there's almost no one in the street we did extend the visas for three more months. That was an easy job. Let's see. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello. Very easy job to extend the visas this time. Last time it was a little bit difficult. I think we paid around 75 euros each, which yeah, for our budget is pretty expensive, but otherwise it's okay. Unfortunately, payments prediction was right and there was still no news on the borders opening anytime soon. We are very, very excited to do this gardening here. One of the things is rainy season is going to start and we have heard vegetables, they get often diseases. We are trying to plant in a way there is not too many of same kind of plant next to each other. So there is less chance of getting diseases. It's a little bit like a social distancing during coronavirus. So let's see. <laughs> that would be fun. So we decided to grow some vegetables in the garden. Even if the borders would open before we could harvest, it would be nice to leave something behind for the owner and the neighbors. It's also nice to do some hands-on outdoor work for a few hours That's every day in between the video editing. Here is chili, tomato, coriander, and parsley, parsley, eggplant, coriander, and list goes on. But we are really, really excited to see how this is going to work out. It's really, really cool. We hope you enjoyed
enjoyed of the video. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And remember, there are always more stories on our Facebook and our Instagram, so remember to check those out too. And if you paid attention, the intro of the video was a little bit different. Comment below and let us know how did you like it. And also a huge thanks to everyone who has supported us on PayPal and Patreon and everyone who has ordered a postcard. But some bad news about the postcards. Unfortunately, the post office told us that no regular mail is leaving the Gambia at the moment because the airport is closed. But we will of course send all of the postcards as soon as the airport opens again, so don't worry about that. And we are so sorry the postcards will be late. If you don't want to miss the next video, remember to subscribe and put the notification bell on so you will get a notice when we publish the next video. And another way to support us and the channel is by checking out our Patreon, the link is here. And you can watch our previous vlog, link is over there. And here is a video about how to build a budget touring bicycle. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.